Okay, um, <clears throat> clearly I tried this before and it didn't work too well, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this again. Um, when <clears throat> I posted my blog about politics, I didn't really think that it was going to get to the point that it's gotten to, um, which, frankly, I'm fine with that it got to the point that it did, because it stirred shit up, it got people talking. Um, but what I don't like is the fact that we all brought it to a whole nother, whole nother level when it was completely unneeded. Now, the problem that arises with this is that uh, no one was pointing fingers and, and trying to force politics we were simply having a political discussion, and and just as much as you can sit and and back yourself up, you can get on the defensive and take things to a whole new level. And I think that's where things went. Um, and there's nothing more to be said about it besides it's done and over with. You may be offended by me. You may be offended by my brother, by Katie. You may be offended by Randy. What she said. It, it doesn't matter though, because it's simply politics, and politics are fucked up. No matter which way you look at it, no matter which how you start talking about it, people are going to get offended, and you have to get past that point and be able to sit and talk. Now, I've always been about not really caring what people say, and I'll speak my mind, and I'm still about that. We were at Walmart last night picking up Feast 2, and uh, one of the guys that was with me said, Oh shit, the Hannah Montana rings or something like that. And there's the lady at the counter, and this is like a one in the morning, and there's no one in the store. There's no other customers around us. And she says, excuse me, what'd you say? And my thing about it is that's freedom of speech. You can say what you want and not have to worry about what people are going to do. So how, how is that different, you know, being at Walmart or me posting a blog on, on the internet for anyone and everyone to read? Um, if you're taking offense to something that I say, deal with it. I'm not going to take back what I say, and I know my brother's the same way, and I know Randy's the same way. You guys were hard-headed, and, and we'll sit and voice our opinions and not really give a fuck about what other people think. Now, <clears throat> what I don't understand is, Randy, I'm directing this directly towards you. I don't really care if you get pissed off at me for it, because it's freedom of speech, like I said. Um, and I'm not you know, trying to be a dick to you or anything like that, I'm just, just being myself, so, um, sorry in advance, because I know you will get pissed off about it, but, um, all in all, you say that politics are fucking stupid, in quotes, um, those of you who sit at your computer and read up on everything, go through every single detail, you're stupid, now, I don't understand that sentence at all because in my mind the only reason that you're voting for McCain or you're voting for whoever you're voting for is because of your brother being in the Navy and possibly going to war. Now that seems pretty hypocritical of you to be able to sit there and say you're you know, you're voting we're reading up on all of everything on all the all the situations, all the policies, but yet you're voting just because your brother is possibly going to war. That doesn't make any fucking sense to me at all. Um, let's see, what else was there? Um, you shove your opinions and thoughts onto other people and have your friends and family take your side and try to back someone into a corner. We weren't backing you into a corner. We simply, you voiced your opinion, we voiced our opinion back and defended our original statement. I didn't say anything, and frankly. And so... But I'm going to stick up for my brother just like you're sticking up for your brother. Um, we weren't backing you into a corner. We were simply voicing our opinions, exercising our right to freedom of speech. And we have that right to be able to do it. And you can get pissed off and say we backed you into the corner all you want. But you have to look at the reality of the situation. And you kept going with it. And... Anyway, um, <clears throat> where was I? Like you said, politics come down to your own opinion, not anyone else's. So, I understand that. Like, I have my opinion and you have your opinion. But, 
to me, it seems like you're just voting for whoever you're voting for because your brother, that's your, the only issue that you're concerned about. You don't care about the economy. You don't care about foreign policy. You don't care about anything. It seems like you're only voting for the war and, and that. <clears throat> now, I don't know what kind of research you've done, but to me, it just doesn't seem like you've got your shit straight. It seems like you're you're on one track mind and all you really care about right now is your brother and I don't blame you at all um, but when when you say that um, he's out there doing more for this country than you will ever do sitting near your computer posting blogs about what you think is right in this election um, I I don't know it's it just really bothered me and um, You, I, I just don't understand how you can sit and say, we're reading up, we're getting the full picture, and you specifically said, I am supporting him, not any of this fucking bullshit you call politics. My heart is with him, not with the news, the speeches, or anything like that. I know who I'm voting for because I truly believe that that person will bring him home safe. So that's your only concern in the, in, in the election, is bringing your brother home safe and our friends that are over there serving. Matt Vandegraaff, I mean, you may not be very good friends with him, and God knows I'm not either, but yeah, I want him to come home. You know, he just re-enlisted himself for six more years, but I don't want to have to go, you know, to his funeral, and I will go to it if he would die. Like, he's not a good friend, but I care about him enough, like, that I don't want him to be killed. Um, then fuck you, keep your own opinions to yourself. That's the joy of this whole thing, is I don't have to keep my opinions to myself. I can go out and, and speak my mind. I don't have to fucking worry about what someone's gonna think of me. Um, this sentence was really unnecessary, and I took offense to it. Um, not because it was my brother, but because I can point this directly to myself. You say, quote, while you sit, sit there on your little laptops or computers, out spending money on stupid game consoles or clothes, or concert tickets are pointless shit. My brother is out there working so hard to fight for your freedom. And what do you think, what do you do to thank him? Yes, you could vote for the right candidate to get him out of this mess and have your own opinions, but you choose not to do that. You choose to be closed-minded and try to basically peer pressure others into your opinions, end quote. Now, we're not trying to peer pressure you. Clearly, I've said it. You have a one-track mind on why who why you're voting for who you are. What what doesn't make sense to me at all is you say we're trying to be closed-minded and, and peer pressure others into our opinions. We want you to see and everyone else in the world that would stumble across my blog, I want them to know that there are other issues beyond the war. And obviously the war is a big issue on this ticket. Now, for you to sit and say that we spend our money on stupid shit and while your brother's out there fighting, you can't even say that because you've you've done the same thing. But now that your brother is in you know in the armed forces, you're all of a sudden a completely different person. And when not you know four months ago, five months ago, you were doing the same thing that, that I'm doing right now. So I just find everything really hypocritical. And um, freedom of speech, freedom to your own opinion, and and I'm exercising it. You've clearly exercised it. And I'm not criticizing you for it, but I would I would make sure that you're being consistent with, with your statements. And if you're going to sit and bash me and my brother, then fine, go ahead and do it. I don't have a problem with it. You're, you know, you're allowed to do that. But um, I'm just, it's, I don't know. It just really bothered me, especially that sentence about spending money on worthless shit, basically pointless shit, sorry. And while you're brothers, you know, fighting for our right to be able to maintain that freedom of speech and our freedom. Well, that's true. And I support your brother and you know that I do, but um, I don't understand how you can say that I'm being hypocritical when you clearly are. And I can quote, I did earlier, but I can quote it and put it in the blog so everyone can read it and how you are, you know, changing your perspective from the top paragraph to the bottom paragraph of your blog it just I don't know um I was just bothered by it so I uh, made a video